Have you heard of Mimsy Star? She got pinched in the Aster Bar. No, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Hello, Dr. Clary. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm a doctor. I didn't go to the college. <laughs> I didn't pay some fuckwits $200,000 to teach you shit you could find out for free out of the internet. Oh, I got a PhD. Hello, Dr. Clary. I need a diagnosis on my current situation in the future. Please make a video response to keep me anonymous. I'm 42 year old monk, MGTOW monk male. I live in Scandinavia country. My IQ is around 125. Zero debt, no kids. Look six to seven out of 10. 17 Bitcoin. You're set to go. 17 Bitcoins, man. You you just hold on to those. You need to cash out one or two of them. I understand, but that I I have uh that's not the worst portfolio I've seen. 400 ounces of silver. The reason for this high content of Bitcoin is silver because I if I get unemployed and I don't find a job within two years, I will not get a penny from the state if I have more than $1,500 in wealth. Ah, very wise, very wise. I also have built a brand new 170 M2 house, fully paid off in an East European country I'm religiously from, where there are no property taxes and prices are low. What country is that? I'd love to move there. My mom lives in the house and takes care of it. This is for my retirement. I enjoy life and travel around the world whenever I can. I don't know why you're contacting me. You seem to have it figured out. Got my master's degree in biochemistry in 2004. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> After spending eight miserable years in academia, three of them in London, I eventually gave up on finishing my PhD because of a crappy project, bad supervision, a total lack of motivation. I left the research environment in disgust. I struggled to find a job afterwards as I was going through my red pill rage, but eventually landed a decent job as a high school teacher where I taught chemistry and biotechnology. I also obtained my license to teach. Recently, I was laid off since I was underperforming. Well, you're lazy. There you go. I don't. How, how do you fuck that up? How? How? You're a teacher. Like, mental retards can do that. They do. They're called the public teachers. Got seriously tired and burned out after five years. I could also not stand the commie normies in the working place and the entitled kid with all their autism, Asperger's, and ADHD. And one. All right, that's that's where it's hard. I'd be like, shut up, Timmy. No, you don't have it. Shut up. To your math, you're lazy. I know because your father's not around. I never see him at the meetings. It's only your mother coming in, and I fuck her on my desk. Yeah, Timmy, you, you might have a you might have a sibling coming. I don't know if it's going to be brother or sister, but it's going to be a fine, good looking one because I'm fine, good looking. Your mom had nice tits. All right, all right, that was uncalled for and that was very rude, and I regret that. I apologize. Uh, license, but uh, but do, but I'm sure as hell. But I sure hell did throw a monkey into the machinery and red pilled a couple of them during my time there. Good, I hope so. For the next two years, I'm entitled to unemployment benefits of $2,000 per month after tax. I live in a very cheap, nice three-room public apartment on which there is a 25 years wait line to get in in a very good neighborhood. Oh, eat that shit up, man. I totally hang out there. I've turned one of the rooms into a separate apartment, which I'm renting out. Smart man. My total expenses, including all bills, are three seventy dollars a month plus on food, and that's about it. Dude, live out the fucking government. Fuck them. You're a Scandinavian country. They can't wait to get you. They, the women. You could put the the two opposite ends of the world. You could take the thunder from down under and bring up to Scandinavian, and the Scandinavian females won't get as wet as giving other people their men's money. Get it? Because it's not their money. You're not going to pay for it. They just can't. They, that is what Scandinavian women live for, giving other people other people's money and then thinking they've saved society. Uh, been looking for work in the private sector for the last five months without any great success. Well, especially these last two months, I can imagine. Managed to get an interview, and it's always the same. I'm being interviewed by a 40-plus Karen who has smashed the wall. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what it's like in Scandinavia, but I refuse. Just Because re you're saving your time. And the amount of time you dress up, go you know, drive to the interview, sit there with Karen. What's your favorite color and why? Have you ever been in a situation that you didn't like? Yeah, I cut her fucking head off. That's what I did. She was an HR cunt. Sorry, very angry. I don't like HR. And I'm not advocating you do that. That's wrong. Do not murder people. That's metaphorical. That's humor. Very dark. Very dark. But if you don't like the freedom of speech, well, I guess you're a Nazi. Um, but yeah, you don't waste your time with, with HR. 
you just don't. You, you just like what? Because you're not the time you spend three, four hours going to the interview, interviewing and talking to the HR. No, you could send out several more resumes. You could find some independent contract work. Um, you you just bypass Karen at HR. Just just skip her. Of all the interviews, I have never been in the biotech sector. Of all the interviews I have been in, have been to in the biotech sector, I would say 80% of the hiring managers are ugly women. Yes. <laughs> yes. Corporate America is no longer for the industrious, the excellent, or the virtuous. If you are a hardworking man or woman, all right, and you want to achieve excellence, you do not work at corporate America. You contract for them. You set up a company, you uh, work security, you do whatever, but you're not, I mean, maybe you go work there to brush up your resume, but that's not where you're going to hang your hat. Corporate America, Scandinavia included, that's that's a joke. And they will, per the day is coming. It, all of corporate America, all corporations will inevitably become a jobs program because they no longer are producing a value or a, a service a good or a service for a low price and high quality. They're there to employ people progressively and increasingly so, so they feel good. Maybe they make a product. I mean, look at Target Corporation. I don't know if you got that over in Scandinavia. Um, they're fuck with HR diversity. Is this the black woman affirmative action hire? And all their targets got torched <laughs> by their own kind. <laughs> actually technically not because there was let's not forget the liberal white uh pussy antifa members that came in uh that's not an environment you want to work for and what's going to end up happening is they're just going to bail out these corporations so what essentially corporate america and large corporations over in scandinavia too i presume will become just as they are in china is a place for the government to infuse new cash so everybody makes believe they're real workers it's all ego employment. It's the biggest, it's not a welfare jobs program. It is a welfare jobs program, but it inevitably will become where it's just ego employment because you have, without having to make it on your own, without government subsidies, you have to like, what do, what do the customers want? We got to deliver good products to all people at fair prices. But if the government's going to bail you out, well, now the the corporations now just become this political entity that employs people so worthless people could feel good. Like, I'm a corporate social responsibility, but I'm the, I'm the black chick at Target. I'm so important. And there you go. That's, that's all it will. And so the government will essentially pay all of you to imagine you're important or valuable when you're not. You're just parasitic. Um... So yeah, man, don't yeah, I don't know, go go work for a small company. That's what I recommend. The man hate and discrimination in these companies is blatant. Should I, should I be lucky and get a second interview? I'll have to go through a huge wall of HR cunts and provide references. The entire process, the entire process, I just a nightmare. That is true. Yeah, that, keep applying if you want. They, and and you know what. You have every right. If I got to deal with a bunch of Karens, I got to worry about my skin color. Do I have your depends on what? What's your social responsibility section of the resume look like? Fuck you, lady. I I'm like so much more val. I do so much more value in one day. I do more value to you than ten years of HR. Get the fuck out of my. Just go on welfare. Collect your check. Have Karen. You think Karen likes working? Here's the brilliance. You got to look at this. It's got to be judo. Got to understand. Karen is busting her ass off, hating her job. It's not a real job. You know that. I know that. She doesn't know that. She thinks it's a real job, but she's miserable doing it anyway. And then she forks over in Scandinavia at least 50% of her taxes, 50% of her money in taxes to pay for you. Why, why, why women want to work? Women want to work. You women want to take over the economy? You want to be the man. Here you go, sweetheart. And you're going to vote socialism? Hmm. Guess old Cappy going on some welfare, huh? No, babe. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. I'm playing video game. Oh, I sent an application. But your opposite number, Blaren, uh, she wouldn't hire me because I have a penis. 
I guess I'm just unemployed. Hey, babe, can you pick up some groceries on the way back from work? Now you're strong, independent. No, I took care of the house. Apparently, this house keep this house husband thing is really easy. I don't know what you guys are complaining about. Like, I put things in a disher, a dishwasher, and I hit a button, and it washes it. Then I gotta put them back up in the thing. Did I dust a little bit? Yeah, sure was. Must have been tough for women back in those days, man. Yeah, this this hour a day of work to keep a household must have been really tough. When's that government check coming in that your other buddy in HR is going to pay the extra taxes for? Cool. Just want to make sure. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. I can't find a man in my level. <laughs> nope, you can't. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Dang it. Didn't get to the fifth level. Fuck. Shit. What's the cheat code? <clears throat> How was your day at work, honey? What did you do? I got the 48th level on Dragon Quest 11. And I got hammered. How about you? I'm glad you, I support you, babe. I support you in your, you go work. I want you to work. I want you to, you go show those men who's boss. You become Cheryl Sandberg. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Welfare's great. I know. I understand the Democrats now. I get it. I get it. You women going to do all the work because you got brainwashed. Like men got brainwashed. They're like supporting the family. But that was like three generations ago. Now you're going to take it. See you, babe. Bye. Make sure you pay your taxes. I can't find no man. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. It's almost like there's balance in the universe. There's like scales of equality. Like things have to, there's equilibrium. Like you can't just get nothing for something. Or something for nothing. Sorry. Reverse that. They also ask you if you have kids. That's illegal here in the United States. I can't ask that here. Uh, the reason for that is they know they want to know if you are as miserable as them and if you're going to be a good debt slave for the company. Yep. I am therefore not very optimistic about finding a job in that sector, and I am not going back to teaching or academia. I'm not going to sit on my ass for two years without doing something constructive, so here's my plan. After doing a Google search, best jobs if you hate people, I decided to go into accounting. During my years in academia, I did a basic associate's degree in business at evening school for two years in a very good and respectable business school. There's no such thing as a respectable business school. All business schools are bullshit. I've now signed up for the second part of that, and after two years, if everything goes well, I have a bachelor's degree in accounting. Good. The price of that is $10,000, which is not that bad. No, that's not. That's a good deal. It basically means I can send on my ass for two years studying collect unemployment. I will, of course, be looking for jobs, too. My union that I was a member of is also willing to pay for a six-week full-time intensive bookkeeping accounting course. I take that, dude. I would totally take that. That because then you'll that's gonna you're gonna learn more from that from your degree, to be honest. The course will enable me to go get low entry level accounting and bookkeeping jobs. I have checked the job market for accounting, and there's a shitload of jobs. And the feeling 80% of them only require a bachelor's degree. The pay is also very decent around the same time as a top paid school teacher. And if you get some managerial position, it's even higher. There's a lot of temporary bookkeeping jobs that I would also be able to set up a freelance a company in accounting once I finish my studies. Please let you know what I think regards, does he want to remain anonymous? And he does, so I won't mention your name. Uh, I'm for it, dude. Uh, but don't... You got this penchant for like, I want to become a teacher and I'm going to something. And I, make this one count, okay? So stop bioengineering. I'm sorry, biochemistry. Biochemistry. Now I want to be a teacher. No, no, fuck that shit. Oh, dude, just become an accountant, okay? It's fine. It's fine. But you got you to gotta make it work for you. Right, and that it's it's very much like dating. Like, yeah, it's great dating when you're young and you're stupid and you don't know any better. Then you start realizing dating is a royal fucking pain in the ass. Getting stood up. Girls aren't returning your calls as back in the day we call. I don't know what it's like now. <clears throat> this and that. Then, uh, oh, that. And it's the same thing with a, with a job search. Like, oh, this is – old jobs suck. And never you're like, fine, I'll settle on one girl that has her shit together, no debt. Re I, can, I can maybe get it up for her because she's not too pretty. She's going to be a psycho kuanta ha ha. 
and, and you're like, oh, this is good enough because you're tired and you don't want to search for jobs. Searching for a job is like searching for a wife or a, a, a man, a, a husband in the ladies' cases. It's a tiring, taxing fucking thing. Although women don't have the HR. I wonder what the woman's experience is when women go in for interviews and there's an HR ditch. Oh my goodness, nice shoes. I know, thank you. Lisa, that fucking bitch, I hate her. She's hotter than me. Deny. But you corporations keep putting in all the Karens and the, the bitter psychopaths, uh, females, and, and you know you put there right there, we need the best employees of the world. We need talent. That's why we took this completely worthless middle-aged barren Karen and put her here to, like, you know, ask you about your shoes. Um, where was I going with this? Do-do-boo, boo-do-boo, boo-do-boo. Yeah, man, but just just commit to this one, okay? Just make your money and run. I like the fact you're running your little own side businesses, and you you might want to do something on bookkeeping on the side. But yeah, man, just get your degree in accounting and put your head down low and enjoy life. And you know what? Take as much money from Scandinavian Scandinavian women as possible. Those women voted that shit. And I think I might retitle the title of this one. Take as much Scandinavian woman's money as possible. Absolutely. They want to stop. Is everybody okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Everyone's okay. 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 Like, I'm amazing. I made everybody okay. 65% taxes. Why have to do that? I don't even think, frankly, let's be honest. I don't think most of your Scandinavian women or women in general even know the difference between gross and net pay. I don't think they care. They just see the gross. Like I make one hundred twenty thousand kroners or whatever the hell it is dollars. Yeah, but you take home fifty five, lady. Do you? I know. Shut up! I got wine and cats and a pit bull for a mascot. Uh. Can any of you women got cats? Just wondering. All right, there you go. Questions, answers. Assholeconsulting.com. Oh, wait, maybe I should go see through any super chats. None. Sweet. Okay, good, good, good. Boom, done. See you guys later, toodles.